All right, guys, welcome back to Come Relax and Learn. My name is Eric. Welcome back. I hope you uh, you're here to relax, learn something, and just just sit back and enjoy. This is going to be a video of my reloading room. It's actually not a room. This is actually inside my house on a nook next to my kitchen that my wife has so graciously allowed me to <laughs> put my stuff here and uh, it is because I'm in Florida and the heat can be incredibly hot in the garage I'm talking in the hundreds and I've been able to move everything from the garage into the house where it's air conditioned so let's go ahead and uh, take you around and, and show you what I got um, it's not the most organized but it's one of those deals where I know where everything is <laughs> all right let's start from the right side on the top um, this is where I keep some of my loose items such as empty uh, empty boxes of Hornady dies, longer items like the uh, reloading bullet tubes, um, batteries, some of the miscellaneous. Now up in the top, I'm not sure if, let me give you a recommendation. This thing that you see upright is a vacuum. Because us reloaders, as you know, we have a lot of powder spills and this thing will pick up all those granules that fall in the show plates and it's pain in the ass so that that'll take care of that uh, so yeah uh, bullet uh, pullers and funnels and whatnot I have some extra universal decapping dies uh, roll crimpers for 12 gauge reloading, some case prep tools. Down here I have the Gerard 223 uh, case trimmers. Uh, there's nothing else, I have a little, little Swiss Army Zippo for my lighters. Now, this white elephant here is a glue gun that I use to make rubber bullets and I can shoot those inside the house well actually in the garage not in the house but and I use some of these molds to do that also I've been saving these molds for a while so I've been meaning to uh, cast a 36 caliber round walls and 44 caliber for my black powder revolvers but man I've been wanting to do that for a while and just haven't haven't had the time now over here this is pretty much a uh, working station this is the only uh, large space that I have just to work on stuff and uh, okay moving on I have this toolbox and on the top again I have more uh, cleaning supplies <coughs> excuse me apologize I have uh, stuff for uh, gun cleaning uh, back here I have markers that I use in my uh, case marker that I'll show you a little bit later in this corner I have my recipe box I have a video on how to how to make one but if you open it that's where I keep all my my recipes I have a fan <laughs> for those hot Florida days my lighters and knives and first drawer over here is just mainly tools I have my nine millimeter a gun you know just uh, in case something happens in the house I have home defense uh, that's a uh, Springfield Armory XDM 4.5 barrel length some tools some allen wrenches are needed when you reload second drawer it's mainly uh, primers some other um, gunsmithing supplies and wrenches and uh, uh, tap tools and um, 
punches. And on this bottom drawer, I have all my cleaning supplies. Uh, you know, rods and brushes and this snake. I have a, a pretty much one for each caliber that I reload, patches. And I love those snakes because they're just quick and easy. And I don't enjoy necessarily to do some cleaning. I, um, that's not my favorite thing to do. Anyways, moving towards the front. I have this All-American 8 press, and let me tell you, um, if you have single presses, that's fine. I would definitely, if you're starting out, I would definitely recommend something like this. Because, yes, it does single stage operations, but you can also move the turrets and perform you know, turret operations. Where, in my case, I have it set up where these are all... Uh, bullet sizing dies you know if I make 44 caliber uh, lead bullets I can size them 9 millimeter 308s and whatnot also uh, I can do some bullet pulling which is a single operation a lot of people would have this on a single stage but then again if you have a turret uh, you can do that operation and I think over here oh, over here this is a universal decapper. Pretty sure that's what that is. Uh, and then you just change the chain, uh, the shell holders. And this is like old school reloading, you know. Shell holders, and over here I keep the, the shell holders and the uh, shell holders for the Lee hand prime. This thing over here. So yeah, highly, highly recommend. Uh, this press if you're either starting out or you need to perform several operations and you don't want to spend you know money on different, different presses next up the Lee app press another saver um, I shoot a lot of uh, nine millimeter major and I use a lot of or I'm in need of a lot of decapping I just put them in the hopper and uh, I just go to town and I mainly decap uh, 9 millimeters, so then I can run them through the presses uh, just, just to load next station over in the back I have gloves the Dillon RF100 and this is a lifesaver I love it a little bit on the pricey side but you know I have the small primer tube and I have the large Primer two. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass to really change tubes because you have to also change uh, some parts in here. But all in all, it's, it's a good thing. Over here, I have my. I'm proud of this one. It's a 550C from Dylan. This is the newer of the 550 series. And this is where I reload most of my stuff. I have a dedicated 9mm major press, a dedicated 223, and the rest of the bullets that I cast for, or that I reload or shoot, are done here. 45 cold, regular 9mm, 30 30, 30-06, 7.62 by 39, 44 mag each has its own uh, tool head and the last thing that I've been reloading here has been uh, black powder cases for 45 long coal and as you know black powder has to have its own uh, hopper ideally a brass one and this is a an RCBS black powder or black powder dedicated hopper where the drum over here is in brass and uh, this is where I throw my black powder or else I would have a hopper here if it was just regular metallic reloading uh, this is the powder that I use triple seven and I do black powders for the black powder guns I do black powder for 45 uh, long colt or 45 colt I also do black powder for uh, shotguns 
And over here, just some of the items that I use for that. My dies, uh, the tool holder and pins, and the show holder stand by Dylan. Dies, some of the cases where I'm going to put the stuff on once I'm done with it. Moving on, I have the Horny D case drying center. I haven't used it still, but I have some cases that I'll show you a little bit later that I'll be processing from the range and I'll be drying them here. Uh, in the back, it's an ammo crate. Ammo crate on the bottom is just filled with uh, finished, finished cases in the reloading box. I mean, finished uh, rounds, that's what I mean to say. Some of the boxes here of reloaded rounds that I was just shooting. This is my USPSA gun belt. I have a video on my channel where I go more in detail about it. And let's go to the bottom of the bench here. Okay. In the back, I just have uh, some of the covers for the Dylan uh, Primer Center. This is the case marker, let me tell you. If you need to mark cases so that when you're in the range, uh, there's no confusion of which is yours, which, you know, when you're picking up brass, this thing will, it's awesome to determine the brass that is yours. Should be a hose with it somewhere. Okay, moving on, I have the uh, Hornady uh, auto powder measure and when you're doing uh, stepping step up um, charges where you're trying to determine uh, which rounds shoot faster and you need to chronograph them and this is a good tool to do that okay so next we have a whole bunch of uh, totes and plastic containers and this is where I keep the extra supplies from my presses this is all black powder this is all parts for the 550 for the 1100 this is all stuff that have to do with my Glock um, uh, major open gun miscellaneous reloading lead press and this on the other side over here this is brass 44 Magnum 44 5 Colt, 7.62 by 39, 2.23, and it goes, it continues back there. Okay, on this side over here, it looks like a mess. This is where I have some of the brass that I need to prep. This is extra 2.23 brass that wouldn't fit on my tote, but it's clean. This is dirty brass, and it's a mix of 9, you know, 45... 30 30 that I've picked up from the range okay back here ultrasonic cleaner when I want to wash uh, or clean uh, different parts of the guns sometimes I put in a black powder uh, gun parts back there just empty containers that I use when I'm sorting brass and this is the brass sorter that I use the three bin solution I have one of these uh, ultrasonic solution rags up in the front one of my favorite tools is the alignment case prep center and I have a couple of videos I think on this it's pretty awesome down in this box is full of molds for bullet casting and I have I don't know, like 15 molds each for different bullet sizes for all the calibers that I should choose that I shoot, I'm sorry. This is the powder measure uh, uh, dip. Those uh, dip kit, uh, two to three cleaning uh, kit and some other stuff. So yeah, this is miscellaneous stuff. I even have <laughs> extra glue sticks for the glue gun. Okay, moving on. Over here, this is my range bag. This is the DAA Double Alpha Pro range pack. It's a larger size with the range cart. 
awesome. I really recommend it if you need to tote. If you're like me, I want to have everything with me on the range for those just in case situations. That's great to have. I'll probably be doing a review on this. If you want me to do a review, just let me know. These are press covers. This is just a bag. Inside of it, I have the different covers for the Dylan 550 and stuff. Moving on, this is the, the tote or bin that has all the 9mm. It's a lot bigger. It's, I have a ton, thousands and thousands of 9mm cases. This is a lifesaver. This is a Pyrotech art paper carry bag. It's not anything that has to do with reloading, but I have a, a lot of cardboard targets that I carry, plus I have those uh, punch and see-through targets, and I have the stapler, and I have the pasties gun that shoots those brown pasties that you put on the cardboard boxes after each match. And where was I going to carry? It doesn't fit on my range bag. So I bought this and uh, as you can see it almost fits perfectly. These zippers go pretty much up to here. So all, all, all you can see is the top. Fits perfectly, has handles in the back like the shoulder straps. Awesome to carry. Uh, yeah, it fits everything. This thing over here is how I pick up brass, so it won't destroy your back. I tend to have lower back issues, and if I was to bend every time I pick up brass, and this thing, you just roll over it, roll over the brass, and it puts them inside the the string, the string area, and it collects them, and then you just open it up and drop them. Got a uh, tripod for when I'm using the cr chronometer and, and by the way that thing over there is a chronometer that I use the chrono okay moving on here on the front I have books and if you're reloading you must have books uh, and also manuals for your press I'm gonna keep all that handy okay guys back to you I had to take a water break I was totally parched. Uh, so the books and then in here I have a label maker that makes all the labels that you saw in the plastic bins where I I, uh, I label everything. Back there is one of my favorite presses, a lead turret press. And I've done 9mm major there when I began. Uh, really really great press. I don't have much use for it right now because I'm using the All-American 8. But um, when I move to a bigger house, I'll probably put it on the bench and find some use for it. Lyman 4500, this is the old old style, bought it used, refurbished it, and right now it has the uh, black powder lube that I use in the bullet grooves for my 45 caliber um, rounds. Next to it, I have the, uh, the mech. Um, 12 gauge uh, press. That's what I use when I reload um, 12 gauge, and it's awesome. These are some of the bottles for it. The other one is somewhere back there. Okay, next, these are the bullets that I have casted, and yeah, I get a, a little bit uh, creative, and I mix uh, colors and stuff when I when I cast. Uh, but um, yeah, these are uh, 356. These over here are 30 caliber. I have uh, uh, 44 caliber gun, uh, rounds, and you know, you name it, 45, uh, 308s. Um, I have a bunch of uh, yeah, right here. These are uh, for the for the AK 762 by 39. You name it. Over here, I have the bullets that I shoot uh, through black powder in my revolver, and 
and uh, that special the special uh, lube that I science over there. Next to is in the back is how I carry my 12 gauge uh, rounds when I go to the range. A little pouch, like a little uh, messenger bag style uh, to carry the rounds. Next to it is the chrono. I mean a uh, shot timer that I use when I'm practicing. These are all empty, empty uh, round uh, cases when I make bullets. I can use some of these. Back here I have a few uh, boxes of the Missouri Company 124 grain 355 diameter bullets. And that's what I use for 9mm major. I have 3,000 uh, box each of those bullets. These are other reloading bullets. Miscellaneous stuff. 9mm uh, more, more open cases. More uh, case uh, for the completed rounds. Next to it, nothing special. This is where I keep some miscellaneous stuff pertaining to the AR, some magazines, some extra um, electronic headphones, which that's the way to go if you're shooting a uh, sling, a round catcher, and over here I have one extra plate for the Hornady. Okay, moving from the front of the bench to the back. This is the Hornady lock and load with the case feeder. And what I have here is let's see this is set up for 223. I have lights, LED lights, I have a few other accessories that I can cover when I do a review. Um, I wish I had taken the powder, but at this point I'll just leave the powder. That's Reloader 7. In my experience, is the best uh, powder for 2-2-3. The recoil is really minimal. Pickup tubes, the case feeder, and the, uh, I think it's wrench panda or, you know, the mirror for it. Okay. Next to this press, I have the uh, Dillon 1100. This is dedicated to 9mm major the camera for it. And there's a review on my channel for it. What I do is, what I use is H6, uh, the dies. I love this press, it's totally awesome. Okay, from the top to the bottom, my powders. And these are powders for various calibers. 4350 powder comp. I love uh, Trail Boss, Type Wad. Um, how about that big four pound jug over there is Reloader 7, baby. Keep going down, more powders. And that's the uh, the, on the top, the green box, those are powder pellets for the black powder. Next I have the Lee sizing kits that I showed you on the All-American 8. They're mounted over there. Over here I have uh, quick change kits for my 550 pertaining to do with these over here. These are all the tool heads that I have for the 550. 44 mag. If you noticed in the back, I have the 9 mil, and on the 9 mil, I have a Dillon powder throw, and I have a uh, mag P, I think it's called, uh, bullet system on a Hornady bullet uh, die, bullet feed die, 30-06. Back there is 3030, 45 ACP, 762. Back here on that tin is where I have my uh, damage rounds. Uh, moving on. This side is my dies, and not just dies, but I have uh, other things like the uh, uh, lead uh, harness testing kit from Lee. 
uh, more dies, the lead primer, uh, pickup tray, and some more uh, two to three bullets. Uh, and guys, I think that sums up what I have in my reloading bench. Uh, really proud of it, and this is you know 10, 11 years of of collecting and getting stuff. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.